what up virgo welcome back to the channel it's your girl jamie and you already know what it is so let's just get into the energy let's see what's going on for you today the song that i got for you is let it go okay um and i wrote down lyrics for the song that resonated with me in the song that resonated with me and then i look to the next page and the same lyrics are coming up in a different way so uh, I feel like it's double confirmation, let it go energy. We have divine alignment. It says, if it's for me, let it stay. If it's not, I let it go. If I'm blind, let me see. If I'm wrong, then let me grow. And I feel like spirit wants you to sit down, okay? Sit down, take a deep breath, let something go. No beef, okay? Look, no beef, okay? Somebody could be like going vegetarian or spirit wants you to clear off this beef energy. They don't want you to have beef with anyone. Okay, so um, I feel like there's a person, all right? There's a woman um, in the background. In the background, there's, a, there's an obsessed woman in the background, Virgo, who wants you to be in beef and conflict with someone forever. They want the relationship between you two to be fucked up forever and ever and ever and ever, all right? And there's someone who's sending you this energy to always be beefing with this person, whether you know it or not. Um, and some of you, I feel like this isn't even touching you, but for some of you Virgos, there's a certain person out there, like a best friend. Let me tell you about my best friend. Some, some, a bird could have gotten in between a friendship. There could have been something that happened that you need to let go of. Um, because if it's for me, let it stay. If it's not, then I let it go. If I'm blind, then let me see. If I'm wrong, then let me grow. There's something here about counteracting some type of spell work, okay? Counteracting some type of energy or motion being sent towards you. Somebody wants you, they want you angry, agitated. They want you ready to fight. They want you depleted and down. It's because they don't like that you're calm. They don't like that you're not in this energy. So Virgo, Today's mantra is to let any of that energy go. Rest, rest, recovery, no beef. You're just living your life. Like, okay, so if it's for me, let it stay. If it's not, let it go. If I'm blind, let me see. If I'm wrong, let me grow. That's the mantra for today, Virgo. Don't let anybody tell you how you're supposed to feel, um, what you're supposed to do. None of that. You're your own person and you lead in your own life. Let's get into it. Let's get into it because there's someone here who's just like really offended. Okay, it says petty, selfish, offended, challenged, frustrated, and depleted. Okay, I feel like you and somebody else have two different spiritualities. You feel me? And somebody's in competition with you or trying to challenge you. And I feel like you have no beef with this person. Like you're not seeing the beef. Yeah, you're over here happy. You don't know why this person doesn't like you. It's the energy of just like haters trying to get you and they hate her energy. But if it's for me, let it stay. If it's not, get on out of here. I'm not going to say it again. You know what I'm talking about. Let's get into it, Virgo. What's in Virgo's energy today? What's in Virgo's energy today? If I'm wrong, then let me grow. Yeah, detachment. Let it go. Have you on the detachment energy? See, somebody, look, fortune at the bottom, Leo energy. It could be a fire sign. It's like somebody gets monetary value about you being attached to them or looking at them or seeing something, Virgo, and you're not, you're not focused on any of that. Okay, with the detachment, let it go energy. I feel like you have moved on from something a long time ago. <laughs> Somebody could be attached to something in the past, detachment. Okay. What else is in Virgo's energy? Mm, mm, mm. We got publicity and we have choice. We have lost at the bottom. Heavy Scorpio energy. Um, while I was pre-shuffling, the death card came out twice. We got publicity and Leo energy again, and then Libra, okay? Aquarius, Leo, Libra could be significant. 11, 5, 7 could be significant, okay? Somebody could be 5'11", 5, 5'7", 5, okay? 5'12", uh, that's 6 foot. Um, but let's get into it. With the publicity and choice energy, I feel like somebody wants your attention, okay? Or you're choosing to do something publicly, 
Let's get into it. What's this detachment energy for Virgo? It says pessimistic, victimized, resentful, prejudiced, and self-critical. Okay. And then we have lost, resentful, pride, and cocky energy. Okay. Yeah. So there's someone here. I feel like with the detachment energy, you are attached to nothing. Okay. With the no beef energy. If it's for me, let it stay. If it's not, let it go. If I'm blind, let me see energy. Uh, Virgo. You are, you're not paying attention to this or this person, but whoever this is that needs to detach from you is pessimistic. They're cynical. They feel victimized. They resent you. They hold prejudice energy, okay? And they're self-critical. Whoever this is is lost, stuck, regretful, and resentful because of their pride, their superiority, and their power energy. So somebody's in their ego out in the world with the publicity. There's someone out in this huge world, Virgo, that has nothing to do with you, okay? Attached to you that won't detach from you because of their ego. Their ego is forcing them to look at you every day. Their ego is forcing them to be mad at you every day. Their ego is forcing them to have beef with you every day when there's no beef, you feel me? Somebody... Somebody has mental issues, Virgo. This is giving me, that's crazy because I, with the word of the week um, that I'm doing later on this weekend, I was going to talk about the demons that attach themselves to people's minds, okay? And it causes them to be envious, jealous, them to be mad, to be have weird emotions about other people's lives that has nothing to do with them. Yeah, I just feel like somebody is mad that you're safe and sound and they're in this regretful, resentful, fucked up energy. What, why is detachment here with Aquarius? Why is detachment here with Aquarius? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Why is detachment? We have the Five of Cups. We have the, why is detachment here? We have the Hierophant and the Six of Cups energy. We have the Star card. There's someone here who invested and was waiting for something, waiting for an investment to pay off. But with the Five of Cups, I feel like they lost what they invested. With the Hierophant energy and the Five of Cups, this pair is a disappointing spiritual lesson, okay? Somebody was disappointed um, about the spiritual lesson they learned from investing something. All right, we have the Six of Cups. So somebody's thinking about this in a memory of investing and failing in something spiritual. All right, with the Star card at the bottom here, we have the Magician and the Temperance Energy, the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups. There's the Aquarius. All right, you could be the Aquarius, the Magician, okay, who's manifesting temperance. All right. Um... Whoever you are, whoever this Aquarius energy who is detached from this person who is spiritually attacking them, this Aquarius, this uh, you could have Aquarius in your chart, Virgo, but I feel like you are manifesting divine intervention on the burdens, okay, that this person is trying to put in your life. With the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups energy, it gives me you're releasing, you're letting go because you love yourself and you're you're able to let go and divinely tap in spiritually. I can't even, y'all, because the fucking, this is just blowing my mind. The star card, the magician, and the temperance. <laughs> whoever you are, okay, whoever you are is, is a spiritual high divine being, okay, who could not be bogged down, who could not be held down by these lame ass people, okay? All you do is you just bring love into the situation to release the pain or release whatever they're trying to burden you with. And the Ace of Cups, you overflow. With the Five of Wands, somebody could be trying to compete with you, okay? Or they're trying to conflict with you. And with the Four of Cups and the Page of Swords and the Tower, whoever this is sees that they're not connected to you, they're, that you have detached from them. And they're watching towers happen in their lives. Okay, whoever this is, somebody's happiness is literally bringing someone pain. What did they invest in? The Ten of Cups. What did they invest in? The Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Sun card. Whoever this person did, justice. Oh shit. <laughs> 
the Two of Cups. Somebody could have married someone. The Seven of Wands. The King of Wands. The Justice. The Nine of Cups. The King of Cups. The Nine of Cups energy. There's someone who invested in this family. Invested in some type of family energy. But with the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords and the Sun card. This person went through extreme adversity and pain. In this and all, oh, this is you. You may have had a relationship or a family with this person with the Nine of Wands and Three of Swords and the Sun card energy, Virgo. You invested or y'all invested in something and the adversity and the pain made it clear uh, something, okay? It made something very clear. What's the Sun card? Well, you have the Devil in the Tower. It made it very clear some type of toxicity, some type of false foundation, some type of demonic foundation. What? What's the five of cups? The Three of Pentacles. What's the Five of Cups in the Hierophant? The Eight of Wands. Ah! Uh, the Knight of Swords. The Magician. Yeah, somebody tried to attack you in the past. <laughs> okay. This is the energy of some bitch. Okay, now I'm angry. I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me. There's someone you detach from, Virgo. Uh, you just let that shit go. If it's for me, uh, let it stay. If it's not, let it go. If I'm blind, let me see. If I'm wrong, let me grow. You want some elevation and continual movement energy. And you moves right the fuck out of way, the way of this magician. Whoever this is, first of all, whoever this is has spiraled down a dark spiritual path because you left them. You detaching from someone put them upon a dark spiritual path, okay? It broke a foundation. It, like, triggered something into someone, and they started doing this spell work and sending attacks your way. They started working with spiritualists, the three of, the three of pentacles, the eight of wands, the nine of swords. If this is not spiritualist, this person worked with a group or a community to try to attack you because you were happy separating from this person. Whoever this did, they, whoever they did, whoever this is, is doing this out of ego. They can't stand the fact that you're happy. They can't stand the fact that you're blessed. They can't stand the fact that they can't take you down. They can't stand the fact that they're getting karma right now. And they can't stand the fact that you went through all this adversity and you're still shining. You're still happy after the tower. <laughs> This is really getting to somebody, yeah? Virgo, you out here in public, dolled up, handsome. You out here alive in public, letting things go, living your life, humming music and being blessed. And there's somebody who's out here who cannot detach from you. They're struggling to let this go. They have allowed a demon of envy to take over their mind, Virgo. They can't even see clearly that they're destroying their own lives. They can't see clearly that they're entering down a dark path. They can't see clearly because they're so blinded by rage. They want to hurt you so bad. <laughs> They want to wipe that smile off your face, Virgo, so bad. They've invested in doing things that was supposed to cause towers in your life, that was supposed to destroy you, that was supposed to take you down. But you will be here safe, secure. <laughs> and somebody may be experiencing losses at this time, family. And that's just how the cook cookie crumbles. See, somebody doesn't know that they have a demonic attachment on their mind that is making them obsessed with you. That is making them obsessed with taking themselves out by doing things that's never going to bother you. <laughs> it's never going to touch you. What's the attachment? <laughs> the strength card came out. The seven of cups. Okay. What's the attachment? That's you, Virgo. 
You have a strong will, okay? You will detach. This person is also, there's something, some type of influence that this person does not have anymore. They're losing their spiritual favor. They're losing their gifts. They're losing their sway. They're losing their ability to think, to do things because they won't let something go, okay? They're blinded by ego. They're blinded by... Uh, I don't, they're in a they're blinded by an illusion that is telling them that their life purpose is to stop you okay when in reality their life purpose has nothing to do with you what you're doing any way around your world what you have going on this person is choosing to come watch you every day they're choosing to come attack you they're choosing to be in this energy. They're choosing to continue this. Even though you have left this behind. What's the detachment of the strength card? Virgo, I feel like Spear is detaching this shit now. Nine of Wands. Yeah. You were told to take. Uh, you were told to take some type of action. To uh, detach yourself from this person. This energy. Yeah. The Hierophant and the Six of Coins. The Sun card. Yeah. Yeah, whoever this is, as soon as they started doing spell work against you with the sun card, the three of swords, the nine of wands, the five of cups, the ten of cups, the seven of pentacles, the magician, the temperance energy, whoever this is, when they started attacking you, spirit allowed you to see this and they allowed you to take action and be disciplined on your spiritual knowledge in the past to detach from this energy. See, that's another reason why this person can never stop you. They're praying to entities and doing weird shit to try to block you, but you're divine and you're being led on a path that cannot be that cannot be tracked it cannot be stopped and it cannot be manipulated all spirit has to tell you to do is divinely move they just give you the download virgo oh detach from that they just tell you if it's not for you let it go if it's for you it'll stay if you're blind let me see like the your spiritual wisdom comes from generations of memories things that have happened before see you're you're someone you're a light being who remembers the the past reincarnations you remember the knowledge you remember what you're supposed to do in this lifetime you're not blinded by ego envy rage lust these these small fry demons these small fry demons that are distracting everybody you are not led by that and in the past, you were told to move. You learned your spiritual lesson with dealing with this person. And you were told to move and you did so. And with the justice card, you had every reason and you had this was fair for you to detach from this person. Whatever they did to you in the past, whatever attack they did to you, whatever, whatever. This was your protection. This was divine protection. Divine told you to move. Divine blocked this person from coming in. Whoever this is wants to garner, gainer sympathy. They want to, they want to garner sympathy because they're alone, lost, frustrated, and resentful because they're pessimistic and they're depressed. But they're not telling people what they did to cause you to detach from them. All they're saying is Virgo left me. Virgo left me, and they laughing at me. Uh, and re in reality, this person came against you in a way where you were spiritually led to get away from them. And, so, and for some of you, you were legally led to get away from them. And there's somebody out here who's in their pride and ego. They're being exposed. That's why they're pessimistic and resentful, Virgo. And they're overhearing this energy, hoping so badly that you will attach yourselves back to them. There's no way in hell somebody is going to willingly attach to someone who has a mental illness. This person can look like that too. Y'all remember that, um, it's a scary movie. He had all those spikes in his head. He looks like this. He was bald headed, a white, white ghosty face. And he had all those spikes coming out of his head. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Let's go to publicity. All right. Let's see here. Why is publicity here for Virgo, Leo, energy? Let's see here. Why is publicity here for Virgo? There's somebody here, uh, yeah, who's about to astound you, okay? Awestruck, astounded, serendipitous. Somebody here, uh, there could be a, a, a famous Leo who pops up, or you could be a famous Leo. You could have a Leo in your chart, Virgo. Um, this could also be Aquarius energy, Aquarius in your chart. Take it as it resonates, but it's giving me that somebody found you. I found you. Somebody said, uh, uh, 
Uh, we're not strangers. I found you. With the publicity, you could be somewhere online. Okay, you may think something is a coincidence. It's not. They found you. Somebody's been watching you. Sorry about that. Let's see. Why is publicity here for Virgo? Um, some of you may go somewhere sunny. You could get sunburn, Virgo. Or they could be pressure spots. We have longing, nostalgic. We have alignment, aware, empowerment. We have pacified the bottom. All right. We have I miss you. Publicity and I miss you. We have authentic, aware alignment here. Somebody feels like you're their other half. Okay, there could be somebody who's online who is aching and longing to be with you. I feel like, yeah, someone, <laughs> y'all aren't strangers. Someone found you. This person could feel like that you were pointed out, okay? Somebody could feel like they were led to you. Okay, they desire you. They're craving you, okay? Um, let's get into it, Virgo. Somebody could be engrossed in their work. Let's see here. Yeah, engrossed in their work. <laughs> What's going on uh, with this energy? Publicity, longing, craving, authentic, aware, empowerment energy for Virgo. Longing, craving, authentic energy for Virgo. What's that? What's publicity, first of all? Somebody could have like really defined muscles. Like their arms could be um, sculpted. Like somebody could go to the gym a lot. Yeah. There's somebody who's watching you online and they want to give you an offer. I'm telling you. I didn't, we aren't strangers, okay? I'm not a stranger. I'm not a stranger. I found you. You feel me? I, I saw you. I saw your creativity. You feel me? I saw, I saw your genuine energy. I saw you. Somebody could have been watching you. <laughs> okay, somebody here, they want to give you this offer here. With the Six of Cups energy, I'm telling you, this is somebody who's been watching you for a while. They have memories of you. They know how you laugh. They know what you like. They know what you talk about. They read your posts. They see what you're into. They've been studying you, okay? Somebody has been holding back publicly. This person could be guarded and shy about the Sun card and the Two of Cups revealing themselves. Okay, or exposing that they want a relationship with the Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles energy. Somebody could be lying. Okay, or being strategic about this love offer. Whoever this person is, they have anxiety. Okay, because I feel like this person has some type of plan, but they feel restricted because of how confident and successful you are with the wheel of fortune the three of swords and the eight of coins energy you could have also gone through some bullshit okay <laughs> and you could be working really hard and you're really defensive and standoffish with your love at this time because you've been burdened by other people somebody's been looking into you okay <laughs> I, I don't know how much how much more i need to explain this all right but they've been watching you watch you go through relationships watch you detach from losers they watch you, okay? And they see you as this. They see you as their other half. They see you as that. Uh, I'm also getting crown me. I mean, my blessings. Somebody could have like jewelry. Somebody wants to see you adorned into in some type of clothing or in some type of jewelry. They could make jewelry or clothing. There's something here about a fit, okay? Somebody makes fits. Look at their fits, all right? Somebody makes some type of fit, like, they have a clothing brand, a clothing line, something. Somebody wants you dripped. They want, I don't know what this is about, but somebody has like some image of how they want you on the arm or how they want to be seen with you on the arm here. Virgo, what's longing, craving energy? We get the five of wands and the three of wands energy. Somebody is longing to compete, okay? Longing to hop into that competition. Longing to, you know, get into there conversate with you but with the three of wands they hold them back they waiting what they waiting for we got the ten of swords at the bottom what are they waiting for 
the lovers. Damn, the king of cups. They're waiting for the opportune moment. This could be a Gemini. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming up. Leo, Aquarius. All right. They're waiting uh, with the lovers. They're waiting. They could be waiting for you. Okay, somebody could be waiting for when you're ready for a lover or when they're ready for a lover. What's authentic alignment energy? The Page of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody, they didn't find you. They, <laughs> we aren't strangers. They found you. With the Page of Pentacles, they've been studying you. They know what you like. They see you as this empowered, authentic, aligned person. Whoever this is, they got an offer for you. An offer for you. They want to give you an offer that you can't refuse. What's the empowerment energy? <laughs> we got the five of pentacles. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Whoever whoever, whoever this is oh, wants to drip you out with the five of pentacles energy. Okay? They can see you going through some type of discord, debauchery. They can see you going through some type of... Uh, lack energy, whoever this is, they don't see you like that. They see you as a diamond in the rough. Okay, if this person was to see you outside and you were homeless and dirty, they would see an angel. Like, this is the energy. This is somebody who looked at you and they found you. Like I said, I see you. I found you. Other people may not recognize the God in you, but I've seen it immediately. You could be on the street, I'm telling you, tattered. With this five of pentacles energy in the reverse. And somebody would know that's you. No matter what you're wearing, what you're doing, what you're speaking. Somebody would know you in whatever avatar and whatever body you, that you come up in in this lifetime. Somebody would recognize you when they see you. Just based off of the work and the fruit and the hard work and, and who you are, Virgo. Eight of pentacles. Just based off of who you are. They're aware of it. And in whatever circumstance. Damn, whoever this is, they got a plan. They got a plan and they go make you theirs. This is somebody who's not playing with you at all. This is a, this is somebody who's serious. What's the page of pentacles, the five of pentacles in the reverse? There's also something about uh we got the seven of swords and the ace of cups. Yeah, somebody lying about their love for you. Okay. They could have got the seeds out of loving you. They see something as the deception. They see you. It's, I just heard Decepticon. But there's something about how the universe cloaks you. Okay, there's something about how. What's the seven? What's the five of coins and the seven of swords here? We have the nine of cups in the reverse. What's the five of coins and the we have the higher fit? I'm telling you, stop. There's something about a cloaking mechanism. You don't look spiritual. Nine of cups in the nine of cups in the reverse talks about like unsatisfied, overindulgent. It talks about drunken energy. Whatever this is with the five of pentacles and the seven of swords is giving me is giving me the energy of someone looking at you and knowing like this is a spiritual lesson. This is deception. You were supposed to look a certain way because of this. What's the higher thing? There's also somebody here who could feel like Queen of Swords. There's also somebody here who could feel like you don't love them. You lied about your love. What's the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups? What's the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups energy? The Knight of Cups. No, nah, this is somebody being strategic, coming towards the Empress. Damn. Somebody could want to get you pregnant. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Whoever this is with the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords energy, somebody is viewing you as someone who is disguised. Okay, disguised is a certain way. This is a deception energy. But they see you no matter what. With the Nine of Cups in the reverse, you could not be. You feel me? There's something that you could be seen as this deception that is not satisfying that is not you're i'm telling you the divine cloaks you in a way where people look at you 
and they don't automatically see a money bag. They don't automatically see your higher fit energy. They don't automatically see the spirituality inside of you. You're cloaked like a diamond in the rough, but somebody sees you just in the things that you say, the boundaries that you have, your convictions, what you work hard on. There's something here that identifies you no matter what circumstance you are placed in. And this is how somebody knows who you are. With the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups, this is how somebody knows decisively that you're the one that they're supposed to be with. You're the, you're the Empress to the Emperor. You're the Emperor to the Empress. You feel me? This, this, is, somebody, this is how they know. Okay, you could also be someone who has a lot of spiritual wisdom. <laughs> you got a whole lot of spiritual wisdom, Virgo. Okay, and you just let go of things with a fool. You just take leaps in faith intuitively out of your intuition. Your love causes you burdens. This is the met, and then you separate to hold on to whatever this is. This is how this person knows how you hold back from things, your boundaries, what you do, what you say. This is how somebody knows that you are the one. And somebody plans to, man. Virgo, I'm telling you, there's a whole boss out here that wants to take you from the deceptive energy that the spirit is hiding you in and present you. Correlation, crown me. Y'all, I said that earlier. Somebody wants to put that crown on your head. Oh my gosh. There's several crowns in all of these pictures. Okay, and last night I was making my cards, my index cards, and the last card I made was coronation. Somebody, this is a royal. This is a royal who will recognize another royal, whether they're disguised, cloaked, magician, tried to fool them, whether they're deceived, they see it, they know it, they can smell it on you. <laughs> and they're being led to give you something, Virgo. This person is being led to crown you. Okay, bring honor and respect to your name. In every single way, okay, by showing everybody else exactly what they see in you. Crazy energy. We're moving on. Uh, I heard, uh, I can't change even if I try, even if I wanted to. My love, my love, my love just keeps me warm. Um, somebody can be having to make a choice. This could be something about LGBTQ. All right, there's somebody who can't change even if they wanted to, even if they tried. All right, somebody's totally overthinking, but they're reluctant and torn. What's the choice here? No, I can't change even if I try. Star card. Even if I wanted to. I'm also getting uh, Evanescent Immortal. Uh, there's just things that time cannot erase. When you cry, wipe away all your tears. Uh, so this could be a healing thing. Somebody can need to choose to heal themselves. They're torn and they're, 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 they're reluctant and they're frazzled. I can't change. Even if I try, even if I wanted to. Somebody doesn't think that they can change, but they can choose to heal. Yeah, four coins energy. There's someone here who's conflicted with themselves. They feel like this is the way that they are, but spirit is saying someone can heal, they can change. Okay, we have the four coins, the justice, the seven of wands, the king of wands energy, the nine of cups. The King of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, the Three of Wands, the Judgment, the Moon. Even if I tried, even if I wanted to. Somebody's being called to make a balanced decision. Why is skeptical, reluctant, torn energy here? We have the Fool. Yeah, somebody is torn about taking this leap of faith that they're being told to take. The universe is telling you, hey, you need to heal something. You have the choice to keep doing what you're doing or heal the situation. And somebody's like, I can't change King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is literally somebody who does something over and over and over again. Even if I tried. Even if I wanted to. What is this energy? <clears throat> I'm sorry for the singling. I just can't. They keep playing it. 
and this could be a woman this could be you virgo what's we the ten of swords the star card in the ten of swords to heal something i'm telling you no beef no beef energy if it was for me let it stay if it's not if it's not let it go if i'm blind let me see if i'm wrong let me grow this is a situation where you're wrong family spirit is telling you that you're wrong you can change you can try but you gotta want to see somebody's torn about taking that leap of faith to healing a fucked up situation choosing to heal from something choosing to have no beef to let it go choosing to see if you're wrong then let me grow see somebody here is still struggling with that what's the the sun card and the ten of swords energy we got the sun and this is exactly what spirit is telling you to do ten of pentacles this is exactly what spirit is telling you to do. I swear if you forgive that person, there's only one or two things that they can do. They can betray you again. Or it can work out. And someone here wants to heal a situation, but with the ten of swords, they can betray you again. Or it can work out. And I feel, and I feel like somebody is conflicted because because the prospect of being hurt again alright um, you could have definitely took an L Virgo you could have definitely took um, a loss you feel me and now you're torn about healing a situation with somebody who has hurt you because of the sun card you already see them. You've already been exposed. You know it can only two things. Two things can only happen. They can betray you again, or it can work out. But heavy on that, am I willing to be betrayed again? What's the ten of swords? The two of swords. That's the blockage. That's the blockage. That's the that's that thing that's got you laid down contemplating over whatever your spirit is telling you to do because often we get intuitive nudges before we get karma the universe tells us to move before anything happens the universe urges you to do things they put thoughts in your head they tell you to they think about it all right they give you time to think about it more they keep bringing it to your thought and if you don't do anything about it you feel me you get consequences But if you listen to the intuitive nudges, intuitive urges to heal things, to change, to go against your ego. Because so, sometimes your ego don't want to forgive people. Your ego don't want to be around that person ever again. Your ego wants something to be forever in flames. But sometimes healing and doing the right thing and doing what you're spiritually told to do is to let shit go. Heavy on the slap one cheek, turn the other. Two of swords energy. Yeah, so there's some betrayal that's blinding you from three of cups. A connection. A friendship. A group. What's blinding? What's this group energy? You have the page of cups. It could be a friend. Okay. Yeah, Queen of Cups energy. Intuitively, you're being told to heal something with this person, but you know that they betrayed you in a way that that was plain to see with the Sun card. And that plain to see betrayal puts you in the energy of never ever, re re very reluctant, okay? I'll say not never ever, but extremely reluctant to take that leap of faith with being this person's friend again, being around this person, doing any of that. When the Queen of Cups energy and the Two of Cups energy and the Queen of Pentacles energy, I feel like This could definitely be a same-sex relationship. Okay, I just keep getting that. I can't change, even if I try, even if I wanted to. My love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm. <laughs> okay, and there's two women out here that love each other. 
all right but let a third party blind and betray this whole situation and make them reluctant to take a leap of faith on your happiness you better go out there and get your virgo <laughs> okay you better go out there and get your water sign all right you better go out there and get that and get it if somebody makes you warm they make you happy you love them okay and you're struggling between your love and your logical mind virgo and it could be holding you back from receiving or getting this opportunity or making you leave an opportunity out in the cold because that's justice i mean they betrayed me so it's only just that i leave them out in the cold that's defeating some type of work that they're trying to do and it's not healing some type of pain it's keeping you blinded Ooh. Uh, this could definitely be an earth and water or fire and air. Okay, duo. This is hot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, baby, go get your girl. <laughs> go get her. I also heard you better come get her because she dancing like a stripper. Uh, what's the three of cups and the page of cups energy? Yeah, the tower. Bringing a tower to a good friendship, a good group, good energy. It's a broken foundation here because somebody is reluctant to see and offer, see a friendship. They in their feelings though. Okay. Uh, who's in this overthinking, reluctant, full energy? Somebody come get her because she dancing like a stripper. All right. Um, somebody could be gender fluid. Awesome. Uh, this could be a man and their emotions. <laughs> but there is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy who is totally overthinking, taking this leap of faith. Okay, they don't they don't know if they should come towards you or not. Okay, uh, there's some type of betrayal, some type of blockage that's not allowing you to see the worth of something or somebody to see the worth of something and it caused the tower here all right now there's somebody reluctant if you'll even take that leap of faith with them if you if you even want this relationship anymore virgo if that opportunity to give is still there because you left them out in the cold and it was fair to do so they betrayed you in some type of way so this person is laying over here they're like i betrayed virgo i fucks up you feel me um i allow bullshit to blind me third parties to get in the way to cause a tower and something beautiful with the star card and the sun card here. What's the star card and the sun card? That's wish fulfillment. That's somebody choosing their happiness. That's somebody I can't change even if I try. That's somebody running after their woman, running after their man, and then making a song about the world to the world to hear. Like I tried to give it up. You feel me? I tried to let this go, but I can't change. This is this is it for me. This is them for me. Like this is somebody out here who tried to let you go, tried to do what they thought that you wanted them to do, Virgo. But they can't help it. They can't change. They still see you. Star card, <laughs> the sun card, and the two of cups. They still see you. What's the star card and the sun of cups? The empress. Stop. Okay. There's some. <laughs> Virgo. There's somebody here who fucked up. Yeah, they fucked up. All right. They let something crash and burn. It could have ended in painful words, whatever. You know how two women are? <laughs> You know how two women are, y'all get into a fight, y'all say something catty, and that's why I'm not in a relationship with a woman right now. My mouth is too crazy. We be in here cussing each other out, okay? All right, and that's not conducive to peace, but I know how women are. Y'all probably ended this in a painful way. It probably was a tower. Y'all probably blew it up out of proportion. You feel me? Somebody may have cried. Uh, <laughs> that's the energy. Virgo, but this could also be a man. All right, I'm just saying. Take it as it resonates, though. Heavy on the LGBTQ, though. And it's cute. It's real cute. Because somebody over here, like, that's my girl. Like, <laughs> somebody over here, like, I couldn't, I couldn't go back. I couldn't go back to dues if you paid me. Like, I couldn't take a, I couldn't take a leap of faith on a man. 
I couldn't take a leap of faith on a man, even if he was the last man on earth. Y'all see that woman? Okay, y'all see that Virgo or Virgo looking at their woman like, I can't change. Even if I tried, even if I wanted to, that's that empress. <laughs> that's that empress. Okay, somebody, yeah, seven of wands. Whew. Okay, so what is this person going to do with the fool and the king of pentacles? What are they being led to do? Ah, oh, shit, Virgo. Ah, shit. Somebody with the strength card and the four cups and the seven of wands. Somebody here has had a strong disconnection or with the strength card, something has influenced a disconnection between you and this person with the five of wands energy. Somebody is being led to compete for you, but they don't, they're reluctant to do it with the Knight of wands energy and the Knight of pentacles. They're reluctant from being in and out to becoming a, a fixture in your life with a nine of pentacles energy somebody is being told to compete for you don't be in and out they're being told to dedicate themselves to you with the nine of swords and the ten of coins energy somebody is being told to defend this family tie somebody also could be defensive because they're rich they have a lot of money something here but somebody's being told to come in and do something and defend this and try. But they're reluctant to. They're reluctant to do it, Virgo. Okay. What's this person's next actions towards Virgo? They have a choice to make. And we all got free will. And this person is struggling with a choice. Alright. What's their next actions towards Virgo? I can't change. Even if I try. <laughs> Even if I wanted to. Yeah. That shit turns me on. What's the eight of pentacles at the <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I do. This person's next action is to work really hard to win at all costs. Oh, man. I just heard savage mode. Somebody could like to play video games. Okay. Whoever this is with the nine of wands energy. And the Knight of Pentacles energy. Somebody's trying to win at all costs, either against other people, people competing for you, or by taking inspired action to dedicate themselves to something. Knight of Swords energy again. The Magician, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Devil. What's the Knight of Swords energy? The Page of Cups. What's the Knight of Swords and the Page of Cups? We got the Seven of Wands. Even if I try. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to decide what's the problem here. Um, oh, somebody is working. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's this person again. It's the same person from the other day. All right. There's somebody here who it is. They do anything for money. Not They don't do anything for money, but they're focused on their money. Okay, they're trying to win at all costs with their finances. They're trying to take action to be dedicated in defending some type of money, wealth, prosperity. Somebody is trying to manifest with the seven of pentacles and the devil. They're trying to manifest this money, this career, this job. They're always chasing paper. They're always chasing money. They're always in pursuit of trying to find money and keep their life going and is defeating themselves. Seven of wands and the page of cups. This person is guarded against giving you something because they're always chasing money. They're always chasing uh, uh, status. This ten of pentacles energy. Somebody is like, they're... They're in love with the money. They they live to get money. It's like it's like they're religious. So you're spiritual, all right. And this person has no spirituality. All they're doing in this world is trying to be, trying to get this money, trying to manifest money, okay. And they don't know how to do this. And I feel like y'all were put together to show each other how you're supposed to spiritually tap this person in, and they're supposed to tap you into this work ethic energy and how to manifest a job or skills or whatever this person is. Heavy Sagittarius energy, Capricorn energy, whoever this is, is focused on stability, their work, whatever they feel is their focal point, and that is their spirituality. Like your focal point is God, you feel me? And God will lead you to water, Okay, God leads me towards still pastures and 
still water and abundant pastures. So you're being led to prosperity with your religion and somebody's chasing prosperity. And you two, your lives don't mix. And this is why this person feels like they can't change. I can change even if I try. Somebody, they feel stuck in this shit, all right? But it's their choice. They're willingly chasing money that they're never gonna get. They're willingly, not, I didn't mean that though, okay? I didn't mean to say that they're never gonna get. The Ten of Pentacles is on the board here, but it's it's like if you chase the right thing, money, success, family, happiness comes with it. And somebody knows it's gonna be with you, Virgo. They know that choice is to be with you, but they would have to change. They would have to change their mindset, their goals, their everything to try to put all of this in you. And somebody's reluctant and torn over that shit. Do I give up everything that I know? My religion, my foundation, go get this money. I'm a man. I need to have a money. I need to have this job. I need to have this foundation. How am I gonna have a relationship if I can't do these things? I need this, this, and this to do this. This and that. I'm real skeptical that Virgo will even take my motherfucking offer because she over here with the seven of wands energy. You're over here protected. You're over here logical and a high priestess. See, somebody's fighting against their logic and their spirituality. You may be very spiritual, Virgo. Trust the divine to give you your abundance and all that. And somebody thinks that you're crazy. They think that the divine isn't going to hand anybody any money. You got to go out and get it. And there's somebody here who is fighting with themselves because you're the opposite of everything that they know and they believe to be true. And somebody is looking at you like you're choosing this and I'm choosing this. And there's no way that we can correspond in this energy. But I can't change even if I wanted to. You're the empress. You make me want to change. But I can't. Somebody's struggling with themselves. They could be on their back right now, laying in bed. This person could be very depressed, Virgo. They can feel very defeated. They don't know why their money ventures is not working out for them, okay? They don't know why God's plan isn't working out for them, and that's probably why they hate God. Yeah, death card. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I'm getting a whole lot of energy for, for what I'm going to talk about in the word of the week. Um, Virgo, so I'm like, I'm spilling free game right now before it's supposed to even come out. But there's somebody here who hates God. God never showed up for them. God never showed up for them. It was, they're real skeptical of God in the universe and favor and balance and karma. They're skeptical as hell of all of that. This is a very logical person. They ain't spiritual, they ain't tapped in. They ain't spiritually tapped into their spiritual light body. They're the physical 3D and logically, physically in this 3D, I gotta go get this money in a certain way. I gotta go work for it in a certain way. I gotta go travel, I gotta go do this. I have to wear myself out because that's the program that they have told themselves. That's the program that has been ingrained in them since they were a kid. God never showed up for them. Religion never made it happen. Spirituality and praying never made anything fall from the sky. Whoever this is has to go and get their resources. They have to go chase that bread, chase that money. They have to go and do it in the physical because they're going against God's plan. See, there's a lot of people who mad at God, don't believe in God, and all this motherfucking shit, not spiritual at all. You feel me? Because logically, it don't make sense. Logically, that's the world that they are put in. And they keep finding themselves hitting walls. They keep finding themselves stuck. They keep finding themselves on their back, skeptical. Am I doing the right thing? Torn. Because it's not leading them anywhere. All right. And that's the whole thing about let it go detachment. If it's for me, let it stay. If it's not, let it go. If I'm blind, let me see. If I'm wrong, let me grow. See, spiritually, Virgo is somebody who is malleable. They're mutable. Okay, when you're spiritually tapped in, you know that plans may be rejected. The things that I want may fail. Uh, I may be reje rejected and denied for things. But that's because it's not my path. It's not my plan. When you're spiritually tapped in and you're walking with God and in co-creation with God, things just seem to work out. They just... <laughs> 
like I said, when you when you go towards God, when you go towards your higher purpose, those things are given to you, the family, the money, the blah, blah, blah. But at first you have to put yourself in alignment to it. And if you align yourself with having to work super hard for money, that is what the universe is going to give you. Okay. If you tell yourself, this is a program I live in, I have to go work every day to get money, the universe is going to give you that. But when you detach and go with the flow, and you go with things that stay and let go of things that don't, and you realize you're wrong and you grow from it, you're able to detach, you're able to be led, and you're led to things that are more suitable that feed your soul okay travel to new sites feed your soul soul food energy give time give your time see your fam and keep them close that's the energy that's the that's the reading i got for y'all today okay there's someone who's struggling with letting go of their logical beliefs there's someone who's struggling letting go of the programs that have been programmed in them since childhood that tells them that they have to work themselves for the, to the bone for mediocrity money. Okay? That tells them that their life path, their love, their, their soul food, what feeds their soul doesn't matter because they have to go out and get this money. Somebody can't let go of that program, Virgo, and you were put in their life to show them how to go with the flow. And they were put into your life to show you. To show you <clears throat> the opposite of what you are. Because there's so many of us who are letting go of the flow, detaching ourselves from things and choices yeah here it goes turning around virgo there's some of you who are detaching yourself from choices because you are skeptical if it will work out when you need to apply yourself put a little more hard work into it to get what you want see this person was supposed to show you a little bit of commitment and hard work virgo and you were supposed to show this person how to detach i feel like this is the energy of spirit putting you together with people who are supposed to change you change your vibration change you teach you lessons you're teaching each other lessons you're the student and the teacher and then the student and the teacher at the same time i'm rambling now so i'm gonna stop but i hope y'all are getting what i'm saying to y'all today there's a whole lesson about detachment, change of perspective, and coming into alignment with things that are supposed to be with you and letting go of things that do not apply. All right, and there's somebody here who needs to let go of their ego. Know that the universe has separated you to legally, physically, and just sit down, take their karma, and move on with their life. There's somebody here who... Uh, needs to stop being reluctant and take action towards you. And there's someone here who was brought to you, Virgo, so that you can so that you can wake them up to a different program, to a different reality, and so they can wake you up to a different program, to a different reality. We're all just here to let each other see and grow from each other in the experiences that we have with each other. And this is the energy I got for y'all today. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and see what's coming up for next with Virgos. And I hope that every single person in here recognizes the programs and the things that are keeping them stuck. Learn how to move on, shift, grow. Learn how to see when you're wrong so then the universe can keep elevating you. We can keep growing together, all right? This is the energy I got for you. Um, yeah, much, much love and peace, bro.